functioning as the mainstay warship of the Galactic Terran Alliance, and later of the Galactic Terran Vasudan Alliance. The Orion-class destroyer is a powerful and well-rounded capital ship, capable of dealing massive damage to hostile warships and fighter wings alike. The cost of an Orion-class vessel's construction seriously outweighed the cost of paying its crew for three years, and the vessels were considered to be an important symbol of pride in the Terran military. As such, the destruction of an Orion-class vessel was considered a terrible loss to the GTA, representing a colossal monetary setback and a critical blow to morale. At an impressive length of 2,030 metres, the Orion is renowned for its intimidating frame, and the ship was known to incite fear even among the Terran's own civilian population, inspiring the GTA to develop a now famous policy in which Orion-class destroyers would never be deployed to major population centres, barring emergency situations. The Orion plays host to a huge complement of strike craft, including a wide variety of fighters, bombers and interceptors, allowing the ship to conduct operations over a far greater area, and the vessel's wide variety of communications and sensor suites allow the ship to serve in the role of a command and control vessel. The Orion carries a powerful arsenal of weapons, ranging from rapid-fire anti-fighter batteries to much larger ship-to-ship -ship pulse cannons. The more modern GTVA iterations of the Orion have been refitted with an even greater number of weapon systems, adding cutting-edge beam lasers, as well as several new FLAC and AAA batteries to improve point defence, with many of the newly added beam weapons being designed to sweep across the surface of a target vessel, inflicting moderate damage to multiple compartments in a single motion. For over 30 years, the Orion class was the largest warship serving in the Terran Vasudan Armada, and very few were ever destroyed in the line of duty, but towards the end of the Orion's long service history, many of the vessels began to fall into the hands of the rebellious Neo-Terran Front, and the GTVA was forced to engage and destroy them in defence of their own territories. Due to the number of vessels lost to the NTF, and the increasing popularity of the newer Deimos-class Corvette and Hecate-class destroyer, the decision was ultimately made to begin phasing the Orion out of service, bringing its long and successful career to a close. Massive in scope, fierce in battle, and daunting to friend and enemy alike, the Orion-class destroyer is one of the most impressive warships in recent galactic history, and an enduring icon of the Terran Starfleet. Serving through multiple wars and defending the lives of millions of colonists across the breadth of known space, the long and accomplished career of the Orion-class will remain an important chapter in the history of the GTA. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.